first. I don't hate NFTs. What it is is that because I know that NFTs are new, I also know that a lot of people are just making shit without actually having like actual concern of making a good game. And I'm being, I don't, I don't know how people are going to take that, but I'm being serious when I say this. When it comes to NFT games right now, they're either very focused on their tokenomics, which is fine. Honestly, don't have a problem with that. Or they will just have a shitty gameplay mechanic that actually isn't fun to actually have. Or the third thing is going to be that they have a gameplay mechanic that you've probably already seen before. And because of that, that's why I don't necessarily see why... This is kind of just my reason of why I don't like NFTs now. It's because, because they're so new, the gameplay behind them is just going to be very lame and very bare bones. So an example of this that I could be able to give would be a good NFT game out there that's actually free to play by the name of Gods Unchained. So Gods Unchained is a free to play trading card game where you can actually sell your own items and even that's even if you don't own them, you know, like the entire concept of having like actual valuables and collectibles that you earn and that you can actually trade and sell off later as an NFT game is actually very good. However, I can immediately tell you that this gameplay alone is quite literally the exact same gameplay of Hearthstone, which is a popular free-to-play trading card game made by Blizzard. So, I'm not saying that Gods Unchained is necessarily a bad game. And, you know, if I'm being honest, Gods Unchained is actually the best NFT game that I actually could recommend because it's free-to-play. You can literally play it right now for literally nothing. And the game has a fairly amount of polish. So, yeah, Gods Unchained is a very good game. But because of the fact that it is a copy of another game that's already been very popular, it makes me have the thought of whether NFT games will be good in terms of their actual gameplay. And what I mean by that, just to get a little further into detail, is if every NFT game that comes out is going to be a carbon copy of games that are already out now. And don't get me wrong, games these days are literally just carbon copies of each other continuously going on. But with the concept of me having appreciation inside of that game, does that mean that the game itself is necessarily good? Because a lot of NFT games are still in their infancy stage, it makes me really wonder whether years from now that same NFT game will actually be able to uphold its actual value. Because as, as NFT games start to evolve and adapt, I have a good feeling that people are going to find better ways to get people to play these games without focusing strictly on just tokenomics. And granted, I understand that the tokenomics are the reason why NFT games are so special, but right now, the way I see it, there is nothing thrilling behind what's actually being shown behind these new games that are coming out. And I mean, there are games that have literally no gameplay to show, but they have the promise of their tokenomics. And like I've said before, there are a lot of games out there that are actually very, very good in terms of the NFT space. But because of the fact that they're new to the space and that NFT games are new, I can easily tell you right now that some people are developing games without having any actual care of trying to make a good game that actually plays very well, that's actually smooth, that's actually different compared to the ecosystem of games that are already out there. And to be honest, that is the reason why I totally agree with why Steam decided not to let NFT games inside of their market space because, let's be honest, Steam is already a wild, wild west of games that don't necessarily even work. And if you look at a lot of NFT games, a lot of NFT games are actually in the same path. They either have very little gameplay that's not compelling or they don't have anything to even start off with but they just had the promise of, you know, pre-order now for early access or something like that. Again, not necessarily saying that I hate NFT games, but my gripe about them now is that they're so new that they're kind of lame.